Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a password using JavaScript. So, what is a valid password in this tutorial? Well, it's going to be a string that is greater than a certain length, contains at least one lowercase and uppercase letter, contains at least one number, and contains at least one special character. If all those criteria are met, it's a valid password. If at least one of those criteria isn't met, it's invalid. So we are going to do function is valid password and password. So we're defining a function, returning a true or a false to wherever we call the function. Is valid password. That's the name of the function. And password is going to be the one parameter we are going to pass in representing user input and it's going to be the password we want to validate. Firstly, we're going to do if password.length is less than 10, return false. So, if the password is less than 10 characters long, it's invalid. I don't care if it contains all the other criteria, the fact of the matter is it's invalid, no point checking anything else because it's too short. So we return a false to just stop the function and inform the user your password is too short. Next, we are going to do if not slash square bracket a to z square bracket slash dot test password return false. You might be thinking, Max, what does this gibberish mean? So we're checking if there isn't a lowercase letter in the password. If there isn't a lowercase letter in the password, it's invalid. So we return false. We can use this little regular expression to be like, right, is there a lowercase letter in a desired string? However, we can put an exclamation mark in front of it to be like, right, let's check for the opposite of that. So we're checking if this isn't in the string. And if it's not in the string, return false. We can then do basically the same thing here. However, we can do uppercase A to uppercase Z to check for uppercase A to Z characters, which we call letters. And again, if there isn't a one, at least one uppercase letter in the password, we return a false. Next, we are going to be doing the exact same thing again. However, we are going to be doing zero to nine to check for numbers. Again, this is gonna check if there isn't any numbers in the password. If there aren't any numbers in the password, it's false. Lastly, we are then going to do if not pizza hat from pizza hut, a to Z, A to Z, zero to nine. Don't worry, all of these are in the description below so you can copy and paste. Dot test password, return false. You might be thinking, Max, what's going on here? Well, basically we're going to be checking if there isn't a special character in the password. If there isn't a special character, return false. Now you might be thinking, Max, what does this mean? Well, let's break down what a special character is. Or more precisely what it isn't. It's not a letter and it's not a digit. So, let's do a regex that checks for something that's not a letter or a digit, which is exactly what this does. Because without this little pizza hat, we would be checking if there is a character that's uppercase or lowercase, basically a letter, any letter, or zero to nine. But by putting the pizza hat in front of it, we're checking for the opposite of that. So we're checking if there's something in here that's not a letter or a digit. And we can then put an exclamation mark here to be like, right, let's check if there isn't a special character in this password. And if there isn't a special character in the password, we return a false because it's invalid. We need a special character in the password. After that, we then do return true because we've passed all the checks so we can return true. So at the top of our code, I'm going to do console.log is valid password, and then I'm going to pass in a string. You can call this whatever you want in your program, but I'm going to do it here to show you that it works. Now, if you're in Node.js, I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to do keep console open underneath our print statement. And at the bottom of the code, I'm going to put in this function. There's an I up in the corner explaining what's going on here and this will be in the description below. But basically, this function will keep the console open until I hit enter, so we can see the output and analyze it. You don't need this, by the way, if you're not on Node.js, or if you don't want to keep the console open. Now, let's save our work and hit play. And it's true. It's a very long password. It's got numbers, letters, and everything else. Let's do PAS exclamation mark one. 
It's false. It's too short. Now let's do a bunch of A's with a 9. Well, that's an 8, so I can't type. But you get the point, it's a number. But it's false because there's no special character. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed.